Hello my little rose petals and my little rose thorns. Welcome back to the channel for another episode of The Sims 3 Generations and Seasons. <laughs> So in the last part, Coraline went out partying yet again and got super, super, super juiced. She even had a dare to get super juiced. So that is exactly what Coraline did because Coraline knows how to party. She's a party girl. She knows how to get down and she is definitely not going to back down from a dare ever. So <laughs> she's our little rebel. So she got super juiced, came home at like four in the morning and Bryce had to take care of her like always. So he is super tired, you know, I can just picture him getting down on like in the bathroom with her while she's throwing up on the toilet, having her hair <laughs> behind your back, you know, trying to be a good friend, even though he really does not like Coraline. Coraline and Bryce do not have any relationship whatsoever. They, um, yeah, they're, they're only acquaintances and... It, that's not going to change. Um, Bryce only really puts up with Coraline because Coraline is Willow's best friend. And even I think Willow gets tired of Coraline sometimes. Sometimes I think Willow is just like, um, Coraline, can you like simmer down? You're a 12. I need you at like a five. <laughs> You're like totally off the charts. I need you at a good level. So anyway, also in the last part, I rambled on for like most of the part because it had been so long since I recorded. So I'm going to try not to do that in this part. Um, because I really don't have much to talk about, really. Um, so there is that. So I'm having Coraline go off for groceries, and um, my game is being a little laggy. Let's just pause this for a whole second. I'm actually just going to go ahead and save. Um, so anyway, I'm having Coraline go off for some groceries because um, she has no food. Uh, they don't have any food in like their inventory, so they don't have any food like for themselves. I have that mod installed that unless they have the food to make their meals, they don't have any food. Like I think they can only make microwave meals. I think that's like the only option or they will starve to death. So I'm having her go to the store and get some like produce or something just to put in their inventory so that they don't starve to death in between classes. Also, Coraline and Bryce are also super tired and they start classes I believe in a couple hours like she has two hours before she starts class and Bryce has about he has eight hours so it is a leisure day I thought that maybe they could go um to the movie theater that I put down and go watch a movie after classes so uh let's see if this will like freaking load um anyway you guys so I am going to be taking a break from this LP just to give you a heads up I'm going to be taking a break from this LP after the two of them get back from university like get back to their hometown just so I can focus on some other things on the channel and get caught up they only have another week of their term um they have exams tomorrow I believe I would look but this is taking forever to save I'll just get back to you guys when this stops saving so oh she's attending class no you idiot you're going to starve oh my gosh she totally just discarded what I told her to do okay Bryce how about you get up and go to the store for me please because Coraline again wants to be a rebel and ignore me go shop for groceries please um so it, it yeah it is leisure day i thought they would have off of school but that wouldn't really make sense because they are here specifically for school so um she has classes till two today and he has class until i believe six today yeah this is his only class so i thought that they could go to the movie theater after class and um watch a little they could watch a movie together I think Bryce is a little concerned for Coraline just because she is, you know, going out and partying so much that I feel like he's kind of just, he's a little worried. And he talked to Willow about it last night and Willow kind of told Bryce like, hey, you really need to keep an eye on her. If she's going out as much as you say, you know, something bad could happen to her and we don't need her getting kicked out of school. So 
Um, I know in the last part I asked you guys if Coraline should um, be kicked out of school, maybe for drinking too much. Maybe she gets drunk and goes to class yeah. drunk, um, which isn't really like uncommon in university. A lot of people go to class drunk or hungover, hungover, I mean. But I think that, oh, someone, someone, someone is streaking. Someone is totally, totally streaking. Okay, awkward. We're just going to ignore that. Why are you streaking at 1145 in the morning? Oh my gosh, okay, awkward. So, anyway, I wonder, do I still have the dispenser package installed? I don't think I do. I might. I might need to take that out. Um, anyway, I, okay, anyway, hmm. let me, so, go get groceries, please. You're going to starve to death. You only have a couple bananas left, and the bananas were supposed to be for you. You have four left. Okay, I guess I could give, like, one to Coraline just to be in her inventory. There we go. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So, let's get let's get some peaches for Coraline. I think she is like a peach girl. I think she's a peach gal. And then Bryce, Bryce is our banana man. He is our banana man. Watermelon. Mm. There's so many things. Where's Wait a minute. Where are the bananas? Let's produce, please. Oh, there they are. I totally freaked out thinking they were in the game. Okay. Um, do we need anything else? Flowers. Fireworks. No. Meat. Oh, we probably should buy... Okay, let's just shop by recipe. Wait, since he's here, we probably should go ahead and buy some, like, food for ourselves. Um just because just because okay there we go that should be good enough that should be plenty of meals to last us until the end of term hopefully if they don't eat a lot um so yeah Bryce is basically in charge of Coraline <laughs> and he's not happy about it <laughs> so there you go oh yeah and she's feeling germy which means she's going to get like sick Coraline is feeling a bit more contagious than usual. It might be a good time to stay indoors and keep warm. Yeah, good luck with that. So, um, also, I kind of adjusted the UI a little bit. What is she doing? Oh, is her class over? Um, oh, oh, is her class, is it, is it not? It's an activity. Okay, it's an activity. So, she, yeah, she's sketching. Oh, you totally could have gone to the store. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at that face. But look at this. Look at him, like, sitting here. Just kind of, like, does anyone else see this right now? Does anyone else see this? Oh, he totally could be. Is he drawing her? Like, look at him. <gasps> he's looking at her he is looking at her oh my gosh you guys Jeffrey is drawing Coraline right now hardcore oh my gosh that is the cutest thing he totally no don't get up no what are you doing Keep doing it. There is a man. I don't know if that sh is, should be classified as creepy, but he's sketching her. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is the cutest thing I have ever seen. That is so... Oh. I'm really debating whether I want her and Russ to stay together or not. Okay, Um. how about you... Um, oh, 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 excuse me. Okay. How about you actually come up here and go back to sleep? And I'll just unload the groceries for you. I wish there was like an unload all groceries option. But there is not. Okay, go ahead and open. Um, what is in here? 
cheesy spread. Okay, that's odd. Okay. Um, does it have to be on their person or can it be? I don't, I don't actually remember. They should be able to make it even with all this in there, so. It's funny how like all you need is one ingredient for certain things. Okay, so that should be good. He'll have to make some food before he goes to class. Go to dormitory. Okay, so she's done with class for today. So I want her to study a little bit at least because I they have exams tomorrow and I do not feel comfortable with the amount of studying that has been going on. So please, um, you have a book, right? That you can study from? Yeah, go ahead and study. Ooh, make a cheat sheet. I don't know how to make a cheat sheet. I really kind of do. Oh, you did three simoleons. What have you made that's only three simoleons, dare I ask? Okay, let's see. Uh, okay. Um, where can I put, can I, can I look at this? Can I, can I just, can we just, okay. Um, okay. Coraline, I'm a little concerned. Oh, she drew the same thing twice. Okay, throw that away. I'm a little concerned with your drawings. <laughs> just a little bit. I'm just a little, little concerned with the drawings that you're making. No big deal. It's just very odd. Okay. Oh my gosh. Jeffrey Dean invited Coraline Glass to an upcoming juice kicker party at 824. Uh, well, I mean, he didn't invite Bryce, so, oh my gosh, you guys, this will be the third night in a row that Coraline has gone out for a party, oh my gosh, I really kind of want her to get, like, to know Jeffrey more, like, I really kind of want something to happen, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Oh my gosh. And Bryce is totally like expecting her to go to the theater with him after class. Like, oh no, he's sleeping through the lecture. Oh, you went to class by yourself? Oh. Okay, well, he can just go to sleep there, I guess. That's fine. So, um, yeah. Okay, so she's gonna make that cheat sheet, and then I want her to just kind of eat this banana. So, oh gosh. But I really did want them to go to the movie theater, though. Because the movie theater, it's from The Sims 3 store, and it's, like, an interactive movie theater. Like, it's not, like, the rabbit hole that they normally go to that comes with um, The Sims. It's an actual really cool um, thing. How much is your energy actually going up? It's not actually going up. Oh, he's, okay, he's actually going to take one now. Good, good, good. Um... He's so tired. Good thing this is his only thing for the day. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, her phone's ringing. Um, it's uh, your phone. So. I don't know, you guys. I don't know what's going to happen. Did she not? Did I not answer it in time? Probably didn't answer it in time. Oh my gosh, because he, like, they plan to go, Coraline has a cheat sheet up her sleeve, like, an ace of spades. Exams are obstacles no more if she doesn't get caught cheating. Please do not get caught cheating. I will just strangle you. Okay. How about you go take a nap before this party? I totally was going to have Coraline, um, have, throw a party of her own, maybe in the next part after exams, even if she, like, flunks them. Because, yeah, finals is eight days away, but, like, a, the weekend exams or the end of week exams are tomorrow. This is going to be intense. Like, Bryce should have a full bar, and he doesn't. I'm really going to have to have... He'll probably just stay in tonight and study then if she's going to go party for the third night in a row. Oh, my gosh, you guys. He... Well, maybe we'll just have him go to the movies by himself then, because I think, 
I think that it's just how it's gonna have to be. Where is Bryce? Okay. It's like, what is going on right now? So, um, yes, I am so, I was talking about something and I don't even remember what I was talking about. He just fell back asleep. Bryce! <laughs> Give me like anxiety doing this. Okay. First lecture. University gives you first lecture. This shouldn't be his first lecture. Uh. Oh, I guess it is his first lecture. It, Coraline was the one who had the lecture, I guess. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna have him go to the theater, expecting Coraline to be there. Um, I think I placed it over here. Go ahead and visit that. And if she doesn't show up, he's going to just be super concerned. He's probably going to be calling Willow, freaking out. But Willow is like miles, miles away and can't do anything about it. Um, one of you guys did say that I probably should have put the university, like the um, buildings in their hometown so they could have attended it from home. And I probably should have so it didn't feel like so much of a university style LP. However, I kind of like this in a way it kind of you know it gives you a break from the mundrum like day-to-day -day type of thing that was going on you know we only just saw their hometown only just saw their house day in and day out it gives us a little bit of difference and we could just say that like maybe they're just in the next town over and you know bryce could go home to visit or something but you know okay so i don't even think he has he has no friends. <laughs> he has no friends here. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, she's sleeping. Hopefully the party actually happens. Or I'll have to have her, like, come late. Okay, so... Oh my gosh, she totally rode this really girly bike here. What even? <laughs> okay, so this is the lot that's from The Sims 3 store. It's called, um... I think it's called the Plum Bob Cinema? Maybe? I don't actually remember. But, in, if it would, like, load in. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, yeah. It looks like an actual movie theater, which I thought was really cool. And, um... Oh, what happened to my popcorn stands? Oh, probably when... Probably when my custom content... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, my gosh. What is this? What is this? I think, um, uh-oh. Yeah. I think something is a little wonked with this. Okay, give me just one second, guys. All right, you guys, so I actually <laughs> had to go back and reinstall this custom content, at, well, not custom content, it's in store download because I guess when I was moving my custom content around, it deleted basically everything in here. Like, this TV was replaced by this little itty bitty, like, <laughs> like this little crappy TV, like this big screen was like this little crappy TV. And then all the chairs and every, like all the seating was different and, um, the, like nothing was the same. So I had to go and redo it all. And then um, when I was finished, my game crashed. So then I had to re-up. It's just been a process to get this part together. So um, yeah, this is the Cinema Plum Bob. And um, I kind of put a little bit of some different things on my... Um, in this slot so I added the popcorn sheets myself and then um, with these uh, little bars you actually cannot um, order food which I think is really like dumb because it's a it's it, it's a uh, you know what I mean it's a con it's a movie theater you gotta buy concessions so I actually added the um, university <laughs> coffee sh bar thing where you can buy snacks and buy um, drinks so i thought that was pretty close so it actually has the thing of people working here and here's Coraline. um let's see there's just something wonderful about freshly popped popcorn okay Coraline, get yourself some popcorn and then i want you guys to buy tickets for the movie so 
Bryce, no, don't go to the dormitory. Buy a ticket, please. And then I'll have Coraline buy a ticket as well. Oh, does she not want popcorn? Okay, nice. Buy a ticket then. Like, these ticket machines were placed by these statues. It was ridiculous. Okay, so I'm going to have them buy... Uh, a blue ticket? My favorite color is blue, so let's... Uh, actually, let's just do one because I had her buy a ticket already. So I have him buy a blue ticket and I guess they're going to go see the blue movie, whichever one that is. So, um, remove all locks. Okay, buy a blue ticket for 10 simoleons. So which one's the blue movie? Allow blue ticket holders. Allow red ticket holders. Okay, so go over here and, um, watch the movie. Okay, so what do we want to watch? Do we want to watch an action adventure, a romantic comedy, comedy, horror, drama? Um, I think action adventure. I think, um, I think they like action adventures. So I'm just going to wait for, I guess, Bryce to start the movie. I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know how you, I don't know how you do this. I just thought this would be a fun little lot for, you know, all the university people to come hang out at. And it's like a fine dining sort of place, so I thought it would be really nice. Look at this! Oh, I love it. Are they gonna sit together? Answer... Oh, they are! They're actually gonna sit together! Yes! Oh my gosh, this is great. They're actually going to sit together. I love it. Papa. I love it. They're actually Happy sitting nerves. together. Cause he's, uh -huh. So, uh -huh. yeah, the party uh -huh. didn't really work out for them. <laughs> so I think that this is really great. They're just, oh. they're just good friends. Ah, mm. egg roll. Wabba. What is your problem? Oh, he's tired. He's like super tired. Well, that was a short movie. <clears throat> Ooh, oh my gosh, he just farted! You guys. Wow, that movie was intense. That movie lasted like 2.5 uh, 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 seconds. What even? <gasps> okay, well, he... Yeah, he's going home. Okay, well, Coraline, I guess, can stay out because she needs to do better things than party. That movie was like... That movie was shorter than an average movie you would watch at home. What the heck? Anyway, so... um. Yeah, the party didn't actually happen, so we're just going to pretend that she never got that invite and that she was going to come out with Bryce all <laughs> I just think that this is still super cool, so I'm pretty happy with this. <laughs> okay, so they do have exams um, tomorrow, and let's see... Bryce, they both really need to study like really, really bad. Um, Coraline, why don't you come over here and get... Oh, great. Yeah, he just spent time with Coraline, so he's gonna be ill. Great. Um, why don't you come over here and order some food? Buy, like, a cheese danish. And then use the bathroom, please. And then he... He's just gonna go home and go to bed, I'm sure. So, um... Yeah, they have exams tomorrow. I'm really, I'm, I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. I don't think that this is going to be all that it's cracked up to be. Um, yeah, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Not gonna lie. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end this part here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. In the next part, they're going to take their exams. I think I'm going to have Coraline throw a party of her own, which is really going to annoy Bryce because he is not a partier whatsoever so i think um she's gonna throw a party to celebrate or just take her mind off things if she fails because she's got a cheat sheet and bryce does not so oh oh this could go anyway this could go anyway guys so yes if you like this part go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos from me go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i will see you my lovely little rose petals in the next part bye you guys Thank you.